Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're going to the Menhir Hills on Rayman 2 for the PlayStation 1. So, first of all, we're gonna ignore the walking shell. Yeah, tame the walking shell to go ahead. We're gonna ignore it for a bit. We are gonna see if it has something behind its house, though. This little nice dog house thing. Yeah, there was a lum behind there. Make sure that thing doesn't blow up on ya. No, there's a cage here on this version, whereas before... It was like in a hole in a building sticking out here. So minor difference. Anyways. So yeah, get them tired and you get to ride them. He sounds like a horse. Oh crap. I want to go back. Now that guy there, he'll chase you and he'll try to get you. I want to make sure I get all these lums, which... Spoiler alert, we're gonna have to redo this level anyways, so I don't know why I'm even doing this, but... Gosh darn it, it wouldn't let me turn there. Something interesting about walking shells is that they defy gravity. And by that, I mean, like, if you go on a really steep slope, it won't act like there's a slope. And if the slope turns so much that it would turn you upside down or make you run on a wall, guess what? You're gonna be running on the wall or the ceiling. Missed another one, oh my gosh. See, the thing is, in this version of the game, you can't make the walking shells run faster, I'm pretty sure. And on this version of the game, this is the one where a walking shell actually chases after you. So it's, I don't know, I'm just, just trying to figure out how to avoid this thing. So I'm pretty sure if I just run straight, it'll catch up with me. So I'm trying to shake it off, but also trying to get all the lums on the way. Come on. Alright, here we go. cutscene that was not in any other version, and we got a green lum from that, so that's nice. What, I can't read this sign? What? Elite Troop Training Center. Danger! Yeah, I kinda got that. There we go. Yeah, no side tunnel here, but still got the cage. Wait a minute. I see a lum. Got it. Come walking shell. Oh my gosh. Don't come that fast. Oh boy. Oh boy! That's not how that was supposed to go. Um, let's just walk up here. Take care of this first. Take care of this pirate. R. Flip the switch, which should open the door. Get the lum out. 
lure the shell over this way and just get him tired over here. This should work. Whoa, don't face the wall. That'd be bad. Oh man, that was a sharp turn. Okay, yeah, jump off of that guy. You definitely want to do that. Notice there is no side area over there. The portal's just right there. Clark, so it was you who wiped out all these pirates. Only 20 pirates against you? They didn't stand a chance. Hello, little buddy. You want to arm wrestle? Hey, you don't look so good. Are you hurt? Must have swallowed something bad for me. To get better, I need some life potion. It's hidden in the kingdom of the dead. It said that the door to the kingdom is near here. But I'm too weak to reach it. Near here. Hold on. I'm going to find the entrance and bring back the elixir. Thanks, little buddy. Yes, near here, not at the Marshes of Awakening. They moved it. So, yes, let's go help Clark by going to get the elixir at the Cave of Bad Dreams. That guy, his name, that guy there, his name is Jano. He has the same hat as Polokas and that Rayman guy from Rayman 1. And I believe that the reason he has a hat similar to the, a hat the same as Polokas is is because basically Polokas creates things in his dreams. And I'm pretty sure the Cave of Bad Dreams is where all his nightmares, like, where all his nightmares go. So, Jano's probably the anti Polokis or something. And Polokis is the bubble dreamer from Rayman Origins, and on Rayman Origins, Polokis says something about. Rayman waking him up from, yeah, about, on one of Rayman's adventures, he had to wake him up from one of his nightmares. And here we're going through the bad dreams, er, through the bad dreams, we're going through the cave of bad dreams, while trying to collect the four masks to wake up Polokis, so, this kind of fits. Anyways, so yeah, look at how messed up this place is. Climbing bone walls, starting out on a big spine bone, jumping across skulls, getting past those weird hands. It's really messed up. This is something we didn't see on the other version. Climbing vertical purple lums. I'm pretty sure there's no cages in here because the pirates never wanted to go here. Yeah. Yeah, this place even scares the pirates off. Anyways, that pyramid there will only activate when we throw an orb of the same color onto it. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I forgot those things could do that. Oh, can they do that in the other version? Holy crap, that scared the crap out of me. 
Oh my gosh. Anyways, you... Um, it doesn't look like they're going underground in this version. Anyways, you get the orb for the pyramid from defeating these guys. Holy crap, that scared me! Oh, they're going underground now. Look out for them. Oh, they're both over there. Defeated that one. And defeated this one. And we get the orb. And if you lose the orb... It appears... Where it originally was. On the other version, it's where it last was. And I think in this version, it's... Like, in the other version, it appears where you last held it. In this version, it appears where it was last sitting. As long as the place it was last sitting isn't on a moving platform. It goes to the place it was last sitting on a stable platform. Anyways, coming in here is a permanent checkpoint on this version. And careful, because there is a path to the right here. You don't want to miss that. This path is a lot more hidden on this version, but... We're going to have to take both paths anyways, because you may have seen in that room we were just in... We need a yellow orb and a blue orb, and there's one on each of these paths. And no platform to the left there. I think there was one on the other version. Maybe there wasn't. Yeah, and these platforms were all by the wall. They're out in the middle of nowhere here. Alright, got our blue orb. carefully throw them onto these things. Now, if I lose it, it'll go back to where it was, because this is a moving platform. So it'll go back to the place before the moving platform. But now, if I lose it, it'll be on this platform. Yep, we've got this. Just throw it right on back to the entrance. And here we go. So yeah, that's one orb down. And this video is just about over. So it looks like we're gonna have to get the yellow orb next time. Oh! Weird, fuzzy, dark, creepy things. So yeah, I mean, I guess we could go a little bit into this tunnel. But we're not gonna have enough time to get the orb. Whoa, that was... I think I was going a little too fast there. I got a little careless. Could have easily missed that jump. Oh my gosh! Holy crap. And alright, here's the orb. So in the next video, we're going to take this orb back and open that weird door with that one guy's face. Yeah, Jano's face, so... I'll see you next time.